You ain't never been down, how you gonna get on up? First, congratulations, Tate. Second movie, uh, another great picture. Uh, some of the greatest onstage performances in a movie that, that I've ever seen. So, oh, wow, thank so you very much. congratulations on that. What, how did you relate to this picture? Like, what, what made you decide to take on this picture as your, your second feature? You know, what I hope others watching it will find is you can see a lot of yourself in James Brown or a lot that you hope you can nurture in yourself. Um, I'm from the South. James was from the South. We both wanted to do things in our lives that people outside of where we're from think you don't get to do or don't expect you to do. And I just really was inspired by what he did and the time in which he did it. And he just was not going to take no for an answer. Right. Even right. overcoming societal um, limits, that, it wasn't even so much that. He was so confident and just so insistent that it rose above that. He was just like, nope, Yeah. here we yeah. go, get so, out of my way. So after like depicting this character and bringing him to <clears throat> life on the screen, did, do you take any of those elements from his personality on with you into the rest of your career? Because I mean, he had so many inspiring, you know, s sayings and stuff that he did. I mean, is any of that rubbing off on, on oh, you? Absolutely. Um, um, that's why I like the song, I'll Go Crazy. He has a line in there, you gotta live for yourself. Mm -hmm. But also what, I, what I've noticed in my career and what I try to do, especially when you're making a, a, a movie where there's a, often a lot of people around you trying to help shape it, is you have to follow your instinct. Even outside of the prof professional life one has, your instinct never kind of, it never lies. Right. And you often make mistakes or poor choices when you don't listen to your instinct or someone tries to tell you to not listen to your instinct. Right. And he listened to his instincts right. all the time. And that's something to take away. What to say to you, Pop? Street kid, I'm Augusta, Georgia. Headed to the White House right now. It says you're kissing up to the man, James. So you telling me to turn this plan around, stand up for president? No, I'm saying you're screwed already, man. I mean, think about it. You stand up Lyndon Johnson and go kiss up to the Panthers, you ain't gonna be playing in Vegas anytime soon. Because if they know you can stop a riot, they'll sure as hell expect you to start one. <laughs> Just do your thing, James. It's worked for you so far. This there's more than, I mean, there's a number of surprise performances in here. I mean, I know Chad Bozeman was a great mm -hmm. actor, but didn't expect him to, to pull this off like he did. And, and there, was, there was some doubt with you. There was people that said, you know, how can Tate Taylor direct this James Brown mm -hmm. picture when there were other directors in mm -hmm. the mix? And did, did you take that challenge on, and do, or did you listen to any of the negative, you know, thoughts that, that came from the blog when they, when they listed you? Well, I think if you, in the, a the age of information, um, there are millions of disgruntled, <laughs> bored people in apartments all across the nation who want to have faceless criticism. It's to the point to where it almost negates good criticisms. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for me, I went through that with the help. Here's the deal. I'm French, Scottish, Irish. I cannot change my heritage, but what I know I am is a storyteller, and when I see a great character, the passion bubbles up in me and I have to do the work. It yeah. does not bother me whatsoever. Last question. You, this movie is PG-13 mm -hmm. and James Brown probably lived the R life in some, some points. Was it, hard was it, R. Was, <laughs> hard R. <laughs> was it, was it hard to make, you know, to make this movie palatable for a PG-13 audience and leave some stuff, you know? Yeah, of course it is. Um, but we are in a business, but, but what made it palatable, as you said, was, um, so much of the James Brown hard R is the first thing people think about. If you were to poll people on a street who weren't the best or biggest James Brown fans, they would mention all the things, the sex, the womanizing, you know, the spousal abuse, the drugs. But what I realized, what my job was, was to tell people about things they didn't know about James Brown, things that shocked me. Yeah. And those were funny enough, were not hard R moments. So yeah. when I began to tell the real truth and the whole story, 
when you have two hours to do that, you want people to hear what they don't know. So I had to carefully choose the darker moment of his life and it wasn't skirting the issue, it was making room for what people don't know. Wow. And I think that's important for James's legacy. A great, great filmmaker, great story. Thank you so great. much, I Thank appreciate you. it. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.